Hello everyone and welcome to a really wild game that just happened in the VR Masters, uh, VR Chess Masters of 2023, Wesley Sol versus Levon Aronian. Uh, it's a brutal game, uh, Levon is leading the tournament by a full point going into round 6 and Wesley would of course enjoy um, uh, grabbing a full point for him as he does have the white pieces here. So let's see what what happens here, very exciting line of the Nimzo Indian, uh, Wesley opens with pawn to d4, we have knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3 and Levon goes for the Nimzo Indian, bishop to b4, we have pawn to e3, uh, castles and the Wesley goes for bishop to d3, the bishops attack against the Nimzo Indian, we have pawn to c5, and now knight to f3 is still by far the most popular here, but we have uh, knight to e2 by Wesley, the second most popular line, uh, we have knight to c6, and now uh, Wesley castles, pawn to d5, we have captures, captures, and now a3, and this is where the fun starts, the bishop is attacked, but uh, Levon does not go back with the bishop he plays uh or, or uh, captures the knight he plays pawn to c4 and now Wesley plays bishop captures on h7 with check and uh, there is one game where king captures on h7 was played but here we have knight captures on h7 and it is now as of move 10 already that we have a completely new game so okay uh a capture some b4 reclaiming material uh knight capture some b4 and now pawn to b3 trying to destroy black's uh, center as black did play the c4 move uh we have pawn to a5 uh b captures on c4 d captures and now rook to b1 uh we have rook to a6 uh, also uh, a5 not just defending the knight but also clearing the path for rook to come to g6 or h6 imagine if this rook comes to h6 queen comes to h4 uh the 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 white king might, might get uh, even checkmated. Uh, so here pawn to e4 opening up the dark square bishop to control h6 and now rook to e8. We have pawn to d5 and now bishop to d7. Uh, bishop to g4 looks like a more active move but uh, uh, you really only help white if you if you give him f3 with tempo. Then d4 pawn is nicely defended. You can move the knight. It's uh, everything's perfectly fine. So here bishop to d7. Uh, we have queen to d2 and now pawn to b5. For the moment it's possible uh, the knight is on b4 so White cannot uh, capture that b5 pawn just yet. Uh, and here we have bishop to a3. Uh, queen to d4 is the move that white should play, but it's very, very hard to see why. Bishop to a3 is what Wesley played. And now there is actually a way for Levon to win the game uh, or, or uh, at least get excellent winning chances, but he has to find uh, a, 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 a very precise way of how to do that. So feel free to pause the video and try to find the absolute best move for Levon uh, while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations uh, on spotting this uh, incredible line. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it is knight to d3. Uh, you give up the b5 pawn, but the knight uh, will be absolutely incredible here. And you are getting your setup with uh, rook to h6 and uh, queen to h4. So knight captures on b5, rook to h6, and now knight b to d4. You have to bring the knight back to f3 to help out with the defense of the h2 pawn. So queen to h4 knight to f3 you stop checkmate uh, but now queen captures on e4 and now okay the knight on e2 is hanging you will defend it or you will move it and then queen captures on d5 and we end this line with black being up a pawn and not only that black has uh, two pass pawns and also the spectacular knight on d3 uh, so black is much much better here it's a very very uh, hard to say if white will be uh, able to survive this. So after uh, bishop to a3, that was definitely the best Levon had. But Levon goes for something else. He goes knight to f6, uh, knight to g3, and now knight to g4. A different way of going after uh, the, the white king here. We have bishop captures on b4, no longer allowing knight to d3. So bishop captures, pawn captures, and now rook captures on b4. We have knight captures on h2, so not even uh, bothering with queen to h4. Knight captures on h2, we have king captures, and now queen to h4 with check. Uh, we have king to g1, uh, and now rook to h6. This is how Levon break th uh, breaks through. And now how are you stopping queen to h2 checkmate? Well, uh, rook f to b1, and now comes bishop to g4. Bishop to g4, very tricky move because it covers the e2 square. So if um, you play something weird like knight capture some b5, uh, there's the very tricky queen h2 check, king to f1, and now you sacrifice the queen. Queen h1 check, 
Only move knight captures and rook to h1 will be checkmate complements of the bishop on g4, stopping the king from uh, running away to e2. So here, after bishop to g4, there's really only one move that Wesley can play, and that is queen captures on, e6, uh, on h6. He has to give up his queen, and that's exactly what he does. We can even do it in slow motion. Uh, let's go. Uh, queen captures on h6. We have queen captures, and now knight captures on b5. Luckily for Wesley, uh, he does have excellent compensation for the queen. He has the passed d pawn, uh, d4 pawn is protected, and he uh, does have two knights and two rooks. So basically, a rook and a knight for a queen. Uh, we have rook to c8 by Levon, uh, and now come, uh, sorry, not b8, rook to c8 by Levon, uh, preparing to advance his passed pawn. And now uh, we have rook back to b2, preparing to, to stop the pawn. And now uh, Levon should continue with pawn to c3, another big uh, miss for, for Levon in this game. Uh, he goes rook to b8, but c3 is e extremely strong here. Uh, the problem is the rook is attacked, and once you move the rook, uh, there's queen to d2. Uh, he should look into uh, a way to give the queen back, but because if you capture, it's just game over. C captures on d2, and there's just no defense. The rook to c1 check is coming, also the d1 square is covered by the uh, bishop, so you're going to have to play something like knight to f1, and after rook to c1, you will have to play knight to c3. Give up the rook on b1, and after rook captures, you cannot even recapture, because the knight now has to keep an eye on the d1 square, you're going to have to play f3, uh, kick away the bishop, let's say bishop d7, king f2, and now you're just gonna uh, win that uh, piece there. Knight captures on d1, rook captures, and uh, of course you are now completely winning, you are now up a full rook. White has two pawns for the rook, but that's no compensation. So basically what you would have to do after queen to d2, not accept the queen, you would have to play rook b to c1, and now the game continues, but still it's very very hard to, to survive this. You will play queen to d3, the knight on b5 is hanging, and after the knight moves, Moves, there's this very nasty bishop to d1 move and this is how our pawn advances forward if, if 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 the rook moves you will play rook to b8 and now if rook to a3 going after the pawn you will block this with bishop to c2 so really complicated position uh, but it's a very hard for uh, white to, to, to figure out how to how to even go about this game. Uh, objectively, black is winning here, uh, but uh, in, in the actual game, it's uh, very, very hard to, to, to spot um, uh, the correct uh, correct path. So here, rook to b8, instead of pushing the c3 pawn, we have knight to f1, now bringing the knight to e3, which pretty much solves all of Wesley's problems. Uh, rook to b6, Levon now again wants to go for the attack. We have knight to e3 and queen to h5. The bishop still covers e2, and uh, here Levon is still hoping to get this checkmate in. Uh, and uh, of course, if you play something like knight captures on c4, then rook h6, and you can resign the game. However, there is pawn to d6 for Wesley. The knight nicely defends the pawn, and you prevent rook to h6. So here, bishop back to d7, uh, and now comes knight to d5. And this situation on the clock was uh, pretty equal here. Some 11 minutes for Wesley, 13 minutes for Levon. Uh, but uh, I think uh, Levon already uh, had enough of this game. They still need to make 10 more moves to reach time control. And if he wants to keep going, if he wants to um, uh, play for the win, he will have to play rook to a6, followed by queen to, d uh, queen to e5, and then try to um, somehow uh, do something. For example, rook to b4 goes after the pawn, queen to e5, he has to give up the pawn. Now, bishop captures on b5, and uh, here, not uh, rook captures on b5, but rook to c5, even stronger, threatening knight to e7, check to win the queen. So, rook captures on d6, and now rook b captures on b5, this is the position you would get, let's say, queen captures on e4, knight to e3, and okay, it's still a, a, a rook and the knight for a queen, but it's uh, black who is much better here. So that's how you should play it. However, uh, I guess Levon just had enough of this game. He just didn't wanna <laughs> wanna lose. Uh, he played rook captures on b5, and here they traded down. Uh, pretty much everything. Rook captures, bishop captures on b5, rook captures, and here Levon settled for a nice uh, a repetition of moves. Queen to d1, check, king h2, queen to h5, check, king to g1, and it was in this position. On move 35 that Wesley and Levon agreed to a draw, as there really is nothing more uh, to be uh, to be done here. You can't really push for anything, the pass pawn is too strong, and... Um, well, it's just a, ju ju just a really, really, really wonderful game. Uh, Levon did miss uh, maybe not two winning chances. The the second one that we've shown here where, where C3, okay, this is really, really complicated, and it's like a, a separate game in itself. 
Uh, but, uh, you know, objectively, th those were the two winning chances that that Levon had that one. And here after Bishop to a3, had he gone for this knight to d3 idea, uh, and then just, you know, rook to h4, uh, rook to h6, queen to h4, and so on. Which is uh, kind of, uh, he, he did go for this uh, just uh, without this particular maneuver, as this would win him the, the, the e and d pawn. And without that, white is uh, really, really much worse. Uh, so yeah, extremely complicated game. Uh, I have no idea who prepared this for for who, uh, but um, you know it is uh, after uh, a three c four is really a move you have to you have to prepare to play against someone like Wesley. So I think it was Levon who uh, who, who who prepared um, uh, some nasty surprises for Wesley here because they were pretty much equal on time for uh, throughout the entire game. So it's hard to say, you know, usually uh, the, the player who prepares well will have more time than the other player. But here, okay, Levon was only up on time a little bit. Uh, but yeah, uh, very, very nicely done. And already a new game after Knight captures an H7 could have gone uh, really in many directions. But uh, you can just see how complicated the, the positions were as, um, well, uh, Wesley survived. Levon uh, didn't find the two winning ideas. Uh, but still, what, what, what a wild game. Uh, and yeah, this is classical chess in, in case some of you were wondering. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Levon retains uh, the full lead by a full point. Um... Uh, lead by a full point. Uh, some of the games are still uh, going on, but I really wanted to show you this one because uh, at first I saw, okay, it's a draw, but then I checked out the game. I said, okay, I mean, I have to show show this one. Uh, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, always play the Nimzu Indian. It's it's absolutely a, a marvelous opening. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Sayush V. Nair, uh, Joyce Roseman, Lars Tissemann, uh, Tomas Kavusha, and Phil Malthus for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos videos here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions uh, and whatever else happens in the chess world. Uh, so thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day.